Two charges are on strings of 20 centimeter length, 15 grams each, which are separated because they are both the same charge. We don't know what the charge is, but they're repelling each other to an equilibrium point where a 15 degree angle is made on both sides relative to the vertical. Our job is to figure out the charge of each, the value of the charge of each of the charges. We start off recognizing that force gravity is downwards. And we have force tension in the string. Of course, this is on both sides. But since we have Newton's third law, we will consider one charge only. Now, force tension going at this angle, we can then envision this triangle. This part is force tension Y. This part is force tension X. And our 15 degree angle is right here. So because nothing is moving, force tension Y has to equal force gravity. Force tension Y in this case is to equal force tension times the cosine of 15. Our angle is located here. That will be the adjacent side. So then I'll write this, 0 0.0150 times 9.8 is equal to force tension cosine 15. And force tension then has a value of 0 0.152 newtons. Now looking at force tension x, force tension x is pushing in this direction. Force electric must be pulling against it. And that force electric is caused by the coulombic interactions between these two. Force tension x must equal force electric pulling to the right. Therefore, I'll write that force tension x must be equal to the force electric. Well, in this case, force tension x okay, is going to equal force tension sine of theta. In this case, our theta is 15 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to take my answer, 0.152 times the sine of 15 is equal to force electric. And force electric has a value of 0 0.0393 newtons. And that will equal our force electric between these two charges. Okay, now what about the distance, the radius between these two? Well, for clarity, we'll look at this side here. We know you have 20 centimeters here, and here's our 15 degree angle. Well, this part from here to there must then be 20 sine theta. Okay, but we have to go from here to the middle and all the way over to there for our radius. So the radius then is going to equal 0 0.0200 sine of 15. And then we'll need to double that. The radius is equal to 0 0.0104 meters. Well, now we have our force electric, and we have our radius between the two. We can just use the Coulomb's law to get the answer. So our force electric is 0 0.0393 is equal to K9 times 10 to the 9. We we'll multiply that by Q squared because they're both the same value and divided by our radius of 0 0.0104. And Q turns out to be 2.2 .2 times 10 to the minus 8 coulombs. 